Welcome to part one of jailbreaking your PlayStation 3. In this video, we're going to start off with the jailbreak itself. Stay tuned for part two, where we use the jailbreak along with some other software to back up physical media and send and receive ISOs and ROMs between your PC and PS3. All of the necessary links will be in the description, as well as timestamps for specific segments for future reference. First thing we need to do is ensure our PS3 is in the latest firmware and connected to the internet. While we're here, navigate to system settings and turn automatic update off so your jailbreak doesn't uh, break in the future. Once that's done, we can hop over to our PC to continue the setup process. You'll also need to grab the hybrid firmware located in the link in the description. Once you're on the site, click this link, then click download. You also need to have a USB formatted in FAT32. To check this, on a Windows PC, navigate to this PC, insert the drive, and right click the USB. Then click properties, and verify it's in FAT32 format like this older 32 gig drive I have. If you have a more modern drive like 128 gig USB 3, you'll need to download and install GUI format found in the description below. Once you're at the site, click the image to start the download. Once the download and install is finished, open the program and be sure to close any file explorer tabs you may have open. Select the USB flash drive and run the program. Once it's done, close everything out. And now we need to extract the file we downloaded earlier and place it in the root of the formatted USB drive. To do this, navigate to the downloads folder, right click the compress zip folder and extract. Once done, open the folder and copy the PS3 folder into the USB drive. Now close all file explorer windows, disconnect your USB drive, and once it's out of your PC, you need to insert it into the rightmost USB port of your PS3 console, regardless of the model. In the PS3 menus, scroll to images and verify the USB drive is recognized by your system. Once your drive is recognized, Navigate to System Update and select Update via Storage Media. Select Yes and the update will continue as normal from here. Once it's done, we need to run the update a second time for it to fully take effect. So back to System Update and update via Storage Media and continue like normal. Once the second install is complete, we need to launch the internet browser and do a few things. First hit Triangle, navigate to Tools, then navigate to confirm browser close. Turn this setting off. Hit triangle again to open the menu. Back into tools. Then home page. We need to set this to blank home page. Then hit OK to verify. Now we're going to navigate back into tools. And choose all of the delete options near the bottom of the list. So hit triangle. Go to tools. Then select delete cookies and confirm. Do the exact same thing for search history, cache, and authentication information. Now we need to close the browser by hitting circle. Relaunch your browser and press the start button to open the pop-up keyboard. Clear the current text and enter ps3 xploit.me. Press the start button two times to be taken to the site you entered. If a pop-up occurs, select OK to close it. At the top left, there will be several drop-down menus. Navigate to PS3 HIN and select the HIN Auto Installer. This will open a new tab and start a download. Once complete, hit the Select button on your controller and add this page to bookmarks as you'll likely be here again shortly. Once you select Save Bookmark, a message will appear and you need to select Do Not Save. Now we need to move the cursor to the auto install button near the center of the screen. If the process fails, do not worry as it seems to be normal. First, you need to close the web browser by hitting circle, then relaunch the web browser. Once in, hit the select button and select the bookmark page that you set previously. Once there, the site will reload the file we downloaded earlier. This time, select overwrite and save. Once done, close this window then select the auto install hen button again. This time hen should be successfully installed. It will take you back to the cross media bar of the PS3. From here, do not press anything. Just sit and wait 
as the installer downloads a file. Once you see the download complete message, hit circle and wait as the install will now begin. And again, do not press anything, just sit and wait until this is complete. Once it's done, your PS3 should automatically power off and reboot. After about 10-15 seconds, if this does not happen, do it automatically, hold down the power button, and then turn it back on once it's uh, fully shut down. Once the reboot is finished, you should see an option to enable HIN. Select it with X and wait. Once you're back at the cross media bar, verify you can see package installer. If so, HIN is installed and running. Now your PS3 is technically jailbroken, however we need to install a little bit more software and I'll show you guys how to handle your files, where to send packages, ISOs, etc. PlayStation 1, 2, 3 games and even some other light emulations, so stay tuned for part 2. I got it to work a second ago the first time, I'm on the second installation of this, so here's what you're going to do. So hopefully get around this. We're gonna turn off the system. Now that the system is fully powered down, you're gonna press and hold the power button for about 10 seconds. You're gonna hear one beep, then you're gonna hear a second one, and then a third a few seconds later. And then a the PlayStation 3 shuts itself down. Now you're gonna do the exact same thing again. So one, Two, and then there's going to be a double beep right there. Let go after the double beep. We're going to connect via USB cable. Turn on the controller. You want to go down to system update. Connect storage. You're going to press start and select at the same time. Preparing the update. Awesome. Okay, perfect. This is what we want to see doing it this way. Press the PlayStation button again. It's going to check for the update data. Then you're going to get a user agreement. You're going to have to accept this if you want to install the mod. Start the update. Let it do its thing. And because you put the PS3 in the safe mode, you're going to have to reconnect your controller. And hit yes, you want to output HDMI video and audio. Yes, if you can see it. 